السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دس میڈیکل لیکچرس یو ٹیوب پلیٹ فارم اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ہائی لائٹ دی ڈفرینسز بٹوین دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز ون آف دی انٹروڈکٹری ٹاپک آف دی پیتھالوجی ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو دی بیسک آر دی مور امپورٹنٹ ایزیسٹ ڈفرینسز بٹوین دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز اٹالوجی از دی اسٹڈی آف دی کاز آف دی ڈیزیز اور اینی ایب نارملٹی ان دی باڈی اینڈ ان پیتھوجینسز وی ڈسکس دی مینر اور دی میکنیزم آف دی ڈیزیز ڈیولپمنٹ دس از دی بیسک ڈیفینیشن آف دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز ڈیفائننگ دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز آف اے ڈیزیز ناٹ اونلی از اسینشیل فار انڈرسٹینڈنگ دی ڈیزیز بٹ آلسو از اے بیسز آف دی ڈیولپنگ ریشنل ٹریٹمنٹس اینڈ افیکٹو پریونٹو میجرمنٹس دس دی پیتھالوجی پرووائڈ دی سائنٹیفک فاؤنڈیشن آف دی پریکٹس آف اے میڈیسن سو وی شوڈ نو دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز بفور اسٹڈنگ دی پیتھالوجی نو موونگ ٹوورڈ دی ڈفرینسز بٹوین دی اٹالوجی اینڈ دی پیتھوجینسز نمبر فسٹ ان اٹالوجی وی ڈسکس دی کازز آف اے ڈیزیز ایز دی اٹالوجی ریفرس ٹو دی انڈر لائن کازز آف اے ڈیزیز اینڈ آن دی ادر ہینڈ ان پیتھوجینسز وی ڈسکس وی اسٹڈی دی مینر اور دی میکنیزم آف دی ڈیزیز ڈیولپمنٹ آن نمبر سیکنڈ پوائنٹ ان اٹالوجی وی اسٹڈیز دی انیشیل اسٹیجز آف اے ڈیزیز ہاؤ دی ڈیزیز ڈیولپس and what are the causative agents of a disease that progress to the abnormality structural or functional abnormality in the body organ or tissue or cell and on the other hand in pathogenesis we discussed the chains of the events that lead to the abnormality of the organ or the tissue in the pathogenesis we discussed we look on the processes of the development of the disease how the disease progress to make the sign and symptoms of the abnormality of the body number 3 point of the etiology that make the difference between the pathogenesis is that in etiology we discussed the associated factors or the modifying factors of a disease that are responsible for the initiation and progression of the disease Now it is clear that many common diseases such as hypertension diabetes and cancers are caused by combination of inherited genetic susceptibility and various environmental triggers in pathogenesis we study the how a disease develops the process or procedures it includes the structural and the functional changes in the body in at the cellular and the molecular level that give rise to the specific functional and structural abnormalities that characterize any particular disease so this is includes in the pathogenesis number 4 point of the etiology is that in etiology we find the answer of why a disease arises in other sense it result in the finding of the question what is the cause of a disease that make the any particular abnormality of the body in pathogenesis we find the answer of the question how disease progress or develops that lead to the sign and symptoms to treat the infectious or the other disease any abnormality another point that make the difference between the etiology and the pathogenesis is that etiology etiology comes first from the pathogenesis so the etiology leads to the pathogenesis first there is a cause of any abnormality then there is structural or functional changes at the cellular and the molecular level on the other hand in pathogenesis pathogenesis leads to the sign and symptoms so it comes after the etiology when there is a causative agent there is a cause that result in structural or functional abnormality then there is a sign and symptoms 
due to the changes events of the abnormality the examples that make the difference of the etiology and pathogenesis is, is that one of the common example is the diabetes mellitus the causative agents the cause of the diabetes mellitus we discussed in etiology this is the beta cell destruction in beta cell destruction there is deficiency of insulin that result through the abnormality diabetes mellitus and in pathogenesis we discuss how the diabetes mellitus develops in pathogenesis we discuss that when there is beta cell destruction or beta cell uh, necrosis there is direct cytolytic effects that results in the beta cell necrosis and when there is the beta cell necrosis there is insulin deficiency and then this leads to the diabetes mellitus disease so this is the basic or the main points that make the difference between the etiology and the pathogenesis the field of pathology is devoted to understanding the causes of disease and the changes in the cells tissues and the organs that are associated with the disease and give rise to the presenting signs and symptoms in patients so there are two main important terms that the students will encounter throughout the study of pathology these are the etiology and the pathogenesis thank you very much